in this video we are going to discuss about pairs so pairs is a class which can hold two objects of same or different data type in a single variable so let's see how we can declare a pair so to declare a pair we'll have to use this keyword pair then we'll have to provide the data type of the first object and data type of the second object and then we'll have to provide the name of that pair so let's say p so this will declare a pair which which can hold a data type with d1 and object with data type d2 so let's say if we want a pair which can hold two integers then we can do that using this int comma int so now this p1 pair can hold two integers in uh, with data type int and int let's say we want a pair of integer and a string so that also we can do using this so string p2 so this p2 pair can uh, store two objects uh, one with integer data type and the other one with string data type right similarly we can uh, declare pairs with different combination of uh, objects now if you just talk about few of the constructors or how we can initialize pairs then this is one of the ways which will initialize pairs without any value right and let's say if we want to initialize a pair with some value let's say we want to initialize this pair with some initial value so we can do that using this we can provide the values inside this curly brackets so let's say for integer object we want to provide 3 and for string object we want to provide abc so now this will initialize a pair with these two values right uh, similarly if we uh, if we want we can do the same thing using make pair keyword so this is a keyword which will create a pair of two values whichever we will provide here so let's say again we want to provide the same things then abc right so we can use these two things to uh, provide values to the pair right now if we talk about how we can access values from pair then we can do that using two keywords first and second first and second so if we want to access the first value of the pair then we can do that using dot first operator using pair dot first we can access the first value so this will be this will give us access to this particular object okay same thing we can do for the second one we can access that using second now using this we can uh, fetch the value or we can also update the value so let's say if we will print this then it will print then it will print 3 comma abc sorry 3 space abc okay now let's say if we want to update the value present at the first object then we can do that using p2 dot first equals to something let's say 5 right so now p2 will be having five value at the first object right not three so we can update or we can fetch the value using first or second keywords okay we can also have nested pairs for example we can create a pair of a pair so this pair will have some data type let's say int char then we can have uh, okay so this was the first object for this pair now we'll have to provide the second object for this this first pair right so let's say we want a uh, uh, string okay so this pair have first object as a pair and the second object as a string and this pair is having first object as int and the second ob object as character so let's say this is equals to this is equal like a uh, now let's say the name of this uh, pair is p3 okay so we can provide or we can initialize this pair with some values so to do that we can use curly brackets so we'll uh, first provide the object to the uh, we'll first provide the value to the first object so our first object is a pair so again we'll have to use curly brackets right and we'll have to provide two values to the first object and let's say we want to provide 3 and a right so this Now, first object will have integer and a character with value three and a, and then we have to provide the second uh, value to the second object. And let's say we want to provide a b c again. Now, in this case, p three dot second will give us the access to this particular string, which is the second object, right? And p three dot first will give us the access to this particular pair. right because the first object is pair so this p3 dot first will give us the access to this particular uh, pair now let's say we want to access the first value of this pair then we can do that using see p3 dot first is pointing to this particular 
pair. Now, if we want the value of the first object, then we can do that using dot first. Right? This is the this is this particular pair. And if we want the first value, then we can just simply use dot first, right? And let's say we want to access the second value or second object of this uh, pair, then we can do that using p3 dot first dot second. Right. So these are the mostly used things with pairs and we can also declare a vector of pairs or we can also declare a pair with vector as an object, right?